Hello everyone. Recently I received a call from one of my peers who have received a huge fine from council. What this fine was? For non-payment of council tax. What is council tax? What is council? Uh, I thought it's very important for you to know before you come here so that you don't do the same mistake like them. So let's discuss. Now, what is council? Council is like a city government. So uh, it's a government for a uh, city of Dundee. Similarly, there are councils for Edinburgh, council for other cities in Scotland and UK. Uh, what do they do? They take care of um, the city. They, uh, they, they, they are in charge of your cleanliness. They are in charge of water, sewerage. And council tax is the tax that you have to pay towards all these services. So council, city government, taxes for all the services that you avail while you are living in that particular city. So that's called council tax. Are you exempted from council tax as a student? Yes, you are, but there are some conditions. What are those conditions? Let's see. As I've discussed in one of my videos on accommodation, I'm providing a link below. There are three different types of accommodations that are student, university and your independent accommodation. In terms of student accommodation or in terms of university accommodation, you don't have to do anything. But if you are in an independent accommodation, council tax is something that you should know about you should apply for. So, if you're in an independent accommodation and living with all other students, that means all the adults that are living in your house, in your accommodations are student, then you get 100% exemption. You don't have to pay, a pay anything as a council tax if you're living as students in an accommodation. Condition two, if you are a student, you're living with your family, there's another adult in the house, then you are exempted, but 25% only. So exemption will be given to you as a student. That will be of 25%, not 100%. You are liable to pay remaining tax of 75%. In this, there's another condition as well. If you are living in a house with adult and that adult is your dependent who is unemployed at present, who's not working in UK, then in that case, you can apply for 100% exemption as well. So, I'll just repeat all students 100% exemption, student with another dependent adult who's working 25% exemption, student with another adult who's unemployed, 100% exemption. But what you have to make sure here is to apply. Even if you're exempted, even if you have 100% exemption, it is very important to let council know that you've moved into a house that how many adults are staying in that house and you are a student, hence you are exempted from the council tax. Don't think that you're a student, so you don't have to do anything. You just move into a house and you are automatically exempted. No. How do you apply for exemption or how do you apply for council tax is what we are going to discuss next. But at this point, I'm going to make, tell you to make sure that your rent agreement has got name of all the adults who are living in that house. It is very important that all the adults, it's legally required that all the adults that are staying in a particular accommodation, their name should be there on the rent agreement. All right, so now we will move on and discuss how do you apply for your council tax exemption or council tax 
uh, 75% that you have to pay. It's very simple to apply for the council tax. What do you have to do? You have to log in to Dundee City Council website. I'm providing the link below. Log into the website. There's a form. You have to go and fill in that form. That form needs some basic details like uh, the day of your move-in, since when you've been in UK, um, uh, how many adults will be staying, uh, what are their age, will there be anyone below 18 years like your children if they're staying with you. You have to provide that information and uh, in the end there will be a column that says is there anything else that you would like to tell us. That's where you mention that you are a student uh, with university, whichever, there are two universities in Dundee, Eberte and uh, University of Dundee. So you have to mention that you're a student of so-and-so university and you'll be studying till uh, 2023, 2024, whatever your year is and uh, then submit the application. Once you've submitted the application, after a few days, you will get an email. First, you'll get an email saying that your application is in process. Later, after a few days, you will get an email to submit your uh, proof. This is where if you're all students, you're going to uh, submit your proof of a student. If you're, an, uh, 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 if you're a student living with an adult, you have to put in your uh, details um, uh, only and then they will mail you back saying that you're is exempted uh, and 25% uh, exemption is provided. Rest, uh, the other adult has to pay the council tax and if your dependent is unemployed, you can at this point send in the details of your dependents saying that they are on dependent visa and they are not working and ask for 100% exemption. 100% exemptions are provided in such cases. So this is the entire process of filling the council tax. I will repeat again. Uh, my peers who got this fine was because they thought they are student, they need not apply for the tax at all, they do need not fill in any form and that's what the problem was. As an individual, as an adult, even if you're exempted, you have to have to inform the council that you have moved into a house and then they will process the exemption for you. So don't sit back and relax once you get your house. First thing that you should do is to tell council that you're moving in, even if you are exempted. So that is all about the council tax. Now, another thing which is very important post applying for your council tax is national insurance number. And of course, this is followed by part-time jobs. So in my coming videos, we're going to discuss about national insurance, how to apply, why to apply. And also, I'm going to discuss about part-time jobs, type of part-time jobs that are available here. Um, what do you get? How much are you paid? And all that. So like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you know when my next video is out. If you want any specific information on any specific topic, please do comment in the comment box below and I will make the video accordingly. See you soon. Bye bye for now.